very good evening. I'm Sarab al here watching the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting at the Dubai Palace. The cabinet congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Bahraini people on the occasion of the upcoming National Day. The Prime Minister noted that this national occasion marks the beginning of the Kingdom's Development March, which has placed Bahrain among the most advanced countries politically, economically, and socially. He highlighted the Kingdom's democratic achievements and its legislative, executive, and judicial bodies which have guaranteed the political and civil rights of the people under the wise leadership of His Majesty the King. He said that Bahrain's development stems from its people, which requires them to adhere to the values of cohesion and solidarity in order to maintain the national gains. His Royal Highness added that the day of His Majesty's accession to the throne was a turning point in the history of the Bahraini National March. He hailed the positive economic, security and military outcomes of the GCC summit, which was recently held in Bahrain, praising the chairmanship of His Majesty the King, which has contributed to the success of the summit. His Royal Highness said that the results of the summit will reinforce the cooperation march between the GCC states. The cabinet then reviewed the report of the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, on the summit. It affirmed that the summit's call to fight terrorism and external interference, as well as to reinforce joint Gulf action, contribute to maintaining the region security and stability. The cabinet then commended the outcomes of the discussions between His Majesty the King and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdaziz Al Saud, during his recent visit to the kingdom. On this occasion, His Royal Highness the Premier affirmed that the Saudi monarch's visit to Bahrain reflects the deep rooted historic relations between the two countries. The cabinet also praised the positive outcomes of the GCC UK summit, in which the latest regional and international developments were discussed between the leaders of the Gulf countries and the British Prime Minister Theresa May. It lauded the positive cooperation between the UK and the GCC states. The cabinet noted the importance of the topics discussed in the 12th session of the Manama Dialogue. It added that it will help develop a common understanding of the issues concerning the region's security and stability. The cabinet praised the role of the Minister of Foreign Affairs and the Ministry's affiliates in organizing and preparing this international event. On the occasion of the Martyrs' Day, the cabinet expressed pride in the martyrs who have given their lives defending the country. It then commended the role of the police in maintaining security and stability and the role of the Minister of Interior and the Ministry's affiliates in protecting the kingdom and preserving its gains. The cabinet highlighted the importance of the Islamic banking sector and urged to facilitate means of developing it in the kingdom. It noted the World Islamic Banking Conference which was patronized by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister who deputized his advisor Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa to attend the conference. His Royal Highness the Premier then directed the completion of the infrastructure, housing and utilities of Samahij and Al Dair projects, as well as the completion of the development of the roads that connect these areas. The cabinet strongly condemned the terrorist bombings of Egypt, which targeted a Coptic church in Cairo, as well as the terrorist incident that targeted a security point in the Giza government. The cabinet described such attacks as heinous acts that are rejected by Islamic teachings and all other religions, as well as human values. It also affirmed its stance with Egypt and asserted Bahrain's support of all measures to be taken to preserve the security and stability of the Egyptian nation. It also added that the Egyptian people would resist such desperate attempts to undermine the national unity. The cabinet also condemned the terrorist bombings that took place in the Turkish city of Istanbul, stressing the solidarity of the kingdom with Turkey, its government and its people. It affirmed Bahrain's rejection of terrorism in all its forms. The cabinet directed all ministries and government bodies to inform and wait for the approval of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs before adopting conventions, treaties and memorandums of understanding. They also directed the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to submit periodic reports on the approved treaties and MOUs to the cabinet. The cabinet also directed the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to use an electronic system that links the ministry with all government bodies and to keep the system up to date with the approved treaties and MOUs. The cabinet approved three draft laws including 
including a draft law on Bahrain joining the Convention for the Suppression of Unlawful Seizure of Aircrafts, another draft law on approving a convention on a compensation for damage caused by unlawful interference of foreign aircrafts to third parties, and the third one on approving a convention on compensation for damage caused by aircrafts to third parties. The meeting also approved an MOU between the New Zealand Qualifications Authority and the National Authority for Qualifications and Quality Assurance of Education and Training. It also approved a proposal on allocating space in Hamilton to establish a hall for occasions. His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at the Gdabiya Palace the Speaker of the Shura Council Ali Al Saleh, First Deputy Speaker of the Shura Council Ali Al Aradi, members of the representatives and Shura Councils in the presence of former Representative Speaker Khalifa Al Bahrani. His Royal Highness affirmed the Kingdom's aspiration to achieve further progress and prosperity, especially that the country is enjoying the occasion of the National Day. He also affirmed Bahrain's keenness to continue the political, social, and economic march under the reform project of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness also highlighted the march of the government's parliamentary cooperation and ways to support and develop it. He praised the achievements of the executive and legislative authorities in this field and their keenness to achieve the best interest for the country. He also affirmed the government's keenness to enhance its cooperation with the legislative authority in order to benefit both the country and its people. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister discussed with the audience recent regional and international developments and stress the need to face and combat terrorism to stop the wars, conflicts and displacements. He added that there are still many attempts targeting the security and stability of the region but affirmed that these threats and challenges will not deviate the government from serving its people. He called for stronger cooperation and cohesion to overcome all challenges facing the region and to maintain its gains, security and stability.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa arrived today in UAE capital Abu Dhabi to participate in the 15th Fikr Conference, the Conference Arab Integration, the Cooperation Council for the Arab States of the Gulf and the United Arab Emirates, the UAE, is held under the patronage of His Highness the President of the UAE, Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, and organized by the Arab Thought Foundation in partnership with the Arab League. Upon arrival, His Royal Highness was received by the Chief of Abu Dhabi's Crown Prince Court, His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Zayed Al Nahyan, and Bahrain's ambassador to the UAE, Mohammed Hamad Al Maouda. Her Royal Highness, wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, received today at the Council's headquarters a delegation from the Egyptian National Council for Women, led by the Council Speaker, Dr. Maya Morsi. Her Royal Highness expressed deepest condolences and sincere sympathies to the Egyptian people and the families of the victims of the terrorist bombing that targeted the Coptic Cathedral in Cairo. She prayed to Allah Almighty to grant the victims peace and for the injured a speedy recovery. She also emphasized the historic deep-rooted relations between Bahrain and Egypt and the mutual partnerships in all fields, especially in the women's affairs. During the meeting, Her Royal Highness discussed areas of joint cooperation and the framework of activating the Memorandum of Understanding between the Supreme Council for Women and its Egyptian counterpart. She asserted the importance of cooperation between all organizations concerned with women in Arab countries, as well as benefiting from the exchange of their expertise. Her Royal Highness continued to express her aspirations of joint Arab activities designed to correct the false image of Arab women in Western media, which does not reflect the reality of the situation in the region. She went on to state the need to clarify the international community that regional countries have passed these stages of women empowerment and that Arab women are able to carry out tasks that would elevate their communities by employing their skills in the work field. Her Royal Highness thanked the Egyptian delegation for their visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain, noting the close collaboration with the National Council for Women for nearly 15 years. She also hailed the great progress made by the Egyptian women along with her Bahraini counterpart, which is a landmark in the March of Arab Women as a whole. The Deputy Premier Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa patronized the exhibition Exploring Stories and Meetings from 200 Years of Bahraini-British Relations, which was held by the Bahrain Cultural and Antiquities Authority. The event was held at the Bahrain National Museum in cooperation with the British Council of the Kingdom of Bahrain. Ministers and members of the Shuran Representatives Council, Diplomatic Corps and a number of invitees attended the exhibition. On this occasion, Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak voiced pleasure in opening the exhibition and expressed thanks for the President of the Bahrain Cultural and Antiquities Authority, Sheikh Hamay bin Muhammad Al Khalifa's efforts in presenting Bahrain as a culture and civilization destination through activity under the theme Bahrain Your Destination. He also thanked all those who contributed in organizing and preparing for the event, which reflect two centuries of historical standing relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Kingdom. Sheikh Mohammed lauded the high level of bilateral, historic, and cultural relations linking Bahrain and the UK, adding that the exhibition projects stories and photos that reflect views with regard to the nature of the Bahraini-British relations. He added that celebrating 200 years of relations coincides with the noticeable development and enhanced relations through the building of a new chapter of strategic cooperation and true partnership between the two countries, something that was reiterated during the visit of the UK Premier Theresa May and her participation in the Gulf-British summit held in Bahrain last week. He wished the activities of Bahrain Your Destination and the exhibition success. The Deputy Premier also expressed thanks for the British Council Bahrain's contributions in holding such exhibition and for the Council's efforts in enhancing cultural cooperation between Bahrain and the UK. For her part, the President of Bahrain Culture and Antiquities Authority, Sheikh May, highlighted that as part of the Kingdom celebration marking the National Day, the exhibition was opened for the purpose of enhancing human relations between 
between Bahrain and the UK. She expressed thanks to the Deputy Premier for his support of, of cultural activities in Bahrain, adding that such activities will bond Bahrain's relations with centuries with countries around the world. She also valued the role of the British Council in adding success to this activity in particular and other activities in general. On behalf of His Royal Highness Crown Prince, Deputy Spring Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, attended the gala dinner hosted by the British Ambassador to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Simon Martin, to celebrate the 200th anniversary of the establishment of the diplomatic Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Kingdom relations. The event was attended by the Minister of Middle East and North Africa and the Foreign and Commonwealth Office in the United Kingdom. Tobias Elwood, a number of Bahraini senior officials and businessmen and expatriates of the British community in Bahrain. The minister expressed pride in the advanced level of bicentenary bilateral relations which benefit both countries and their people. He pointed out that the cooperation between the two countries contributed to the security and stability of the region and fueled momentum to continued development of the bilateral ties as a result of the awareness of the strategic importance of the relations between the two countries and their tireless efforts to further expand their cooperation at all levels. El will reiterated that the historical relations between the two kingdoms will see further progress due to the enormous potential opportunities available, capabilities and the shared desire to strengthening many fields of cooperation. He highlighted the important outcomes of the Bahraini-UK joint working group which reflect on the bilateral relations and coordination towards various issues. He stated that the GCC states are close allies to the United Kingdom, which is committed to work with its GCC partners to ensure protecting their security. The UK ambassador to the Kingdom of Bahrain expressed his sincere appreciation and pride in the keen desire of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to further deepening the bilateral ties to be an emulated model of strategic partnership as well as his due care of all functions that demonstrate the deep historical relations, such as the reciprocal visits by the leaders and government officials of the two countries.